Yo guys, Y Football here, and today we're talking about the right back situation at Arsenal, a kind of position I think needs a lot of addressing this summer. Who do we sell? Who do we bring in? As always, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing on my road to 500 and leaving a comment section down below who you would buy, who you would sell at right back. So, of course, you have three traditional right backs at this club who are starting right back, and that is Bellerin, Cedric, and Chambers. Them three are competing for the right back position. We'll go through all three of them separately, and then we'll move on to the signings that I would make. So, Hector Bellerin, the traditional starter at this football club, who would have been starting most likely, and now I believe needs to actually move on. The reason for this is Bellerin has lost the gear. When he first joined this, uh, not first joined, sorry, when he first came into the starting eleven, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was against Borussia Dortmund at the Signal Iduna Park. It was buzzing and he made a massive debut and he had a great game. And I thought, wow, we have our right back of the future and potential captain. But then a couple of injuries here and there and he just has not been the same player ever since. His mind's away from football. He's got a lot of off the, uh, off the like pitch stuff that he's dealing with, of course. When I say dealing with, like, he's got his, obviously, his ambassador for veganism and he's uh, got all his environmental campaigns, which good on him. If you on, Honestly, fair play to him, but... I feel like a part of it is affecting his football. His, his mind is not on football as much as it probably should be as a professional footballer. I just think it's in the best interest of both parties to move on since we do have the money to sell him. He, he probably would be, let's not lie, one of the best backup right backs. But he's just for the money you can get from him, for a, a club that needs to actually sell players to buy players, I'd be more than happy to sell him on to get some money because you can't leave 20 to 25 million of Bellerin worth just like sitting in the reserves. So yeah. Defo need to sell Bellerin, so that will be a player I'd definitely sell. On to the other backup right back, I have Cedric. And um, with Cedric, he was kind of a player that when we bought in, I was like, what's this all about, man? I really did not expect it. He's He's been all right. I don't think he's... I think he's been exactly what people expected, just average. No one expects him to do anything amazing. Everyone knew he's Premier League proven he wasn't going to be awful. It's just It was just a weird signing. It was a very average signing. A signing I personally want to make. Would I keep him? To be honest, I don't mind him being a backup right back, especially with there less being uh, with there being less uh, European fixtures right now. We can streamline the squad if he can play the Carabao Cup fixtures and a couple of FA Cup fixtures. I honestly don't mind that. So I, and he's obviously worth less than Hector Bellerin. So if I was to sell one or the other, I would definitely sell Hector Bellerin. But Cedric cannot be a start. He'd be a backup. And then Callum Chambers, this player that to be honest. He's been playing right back. I see more of a centre back by CDM, but he's been doing amazing at right back. Probably last season, the best of those three. His crosses are unbelievable. For a, the thing with Callum Chambers, right, is his player build doesn't suit right back. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I don't like big, chunky, tall right backs. I want my right back to be a bit slim, a bit more agile, like probably like Bellerin type player build, but obviously not Bellerin because he's, he's average. But Callum Chambers just doesn't fit that mould. He's a bit too chunky for me. He's. His crosses wise, he's amazing. Like his his actual football fundamentals is good. It's just his his player build, his physical attributes is I'm not a fan of at right back. That being said, he surprised me. He's done much better than I expected. I remember against West Ham last season when we came back from 3-0 down to draw 3-3. He was amazing. He put in like three crosses on the money in a row. Jamie Carragher gave him man of the match. And to be fair, as a backup, I wouldn't mind him. And I'd keep him in the squad. I'd keep him over someone like holding just for his versatility. He can play right back, centre mid, CDM, uh, centre back. He can play a multitude of positions. Probably you can even chuck him left back if you want to. And so, yeah, I'd, I'd like Callum Chambers and I see him also as a backup we could keep. So, yeah, moving on to the signings now. I'm I'm going to list five potential signings, affordable potential signings Arsenal could sign. Of course, I would love someone like Hakimi, but he's not going to Arsenal. I believe he's gone to Paris Saint-Germain and we won't be able to afford him with the price. We're talking about £80 million. Pounds. Like, come on now. There's no way I can afford that, especially with our owners. So yeah, the first one I'm going to talk about is one of the younger ones. I'm talking Tariq Lamptey, only 20 years old from Brighton Hove Albion. Transfermarket.com lists his value at £16.2 million. And it's a signing I'd love to see us make. Obviously, he's a young boy. He's Premier League proven. We're already buying a Brighton player in um, Ben White. So another one, why not for me? I, can, I see him as a player that can develop at Arsenal. And why not? We've got a lot of young players. I'd like to see him... There. Is it is he too young to start and too inexperienced to start? Maybe so. So if we were to sign him, I, it probably would be a backup to start, which obviously doesn't align with my whole thought process. But I believe he can start games. Look, why not, man? If he, if he can play games for Brighton, he can play games for Arsenal. Of course, he's, he's had a bit of injury issues in the past, which is a bit of a problem. But if he can get that out of the way, if he can train under Arsenal's facilities, 
have used Arsenal, uh, used some of Arsenal's players and coaches to try and uh, develop his game. I'd love to see it happen to be honest. I think he's a great player that is definitely a viable option we could consider at right back. Second player I'm going to talk about is something I doubt very many of you have heard of, unless you've got A star football knowledge. And this is Fabien Kentonze, or Chentonze. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He plays for Mets. And I'm going to be honest, Mets didn't have the greatest of season last season, but he is a good looking right back. He is only 25 years old. So older than Lamptey, but still not quite in his prime yet. And he reminds me very much of someone like Aaron Wan Bissaka, defensively orientated. He's not very flashy. He's not like Alfonso Davies, Nuno Tavares type, where he's going to bomb up and down, do skill moves and dribble and do all over that. He's just a hard-nosed right back. Because sometimes you need that man. You need the player to just um, defend first. Does his, his positioning always seems to be on point. On point, he always seems to see the runs that players are making. He's just defensive IQ, defensive awareness is just amazing from him. And he's someone we probably could use. And he's a cheap, cheap alternative. Only £7.2 million pounds he's listed at transfermarket.com. We haven't been linked to him at all. I haven't heard anything. So I don't know how much they'd be really looking for. No one's really looking at him. But he's an option that I wouldn't mind us taking as a potential just defensive first right back. Someone that can provide more stability on that side. And yeah, if he can grow his attacking game, then he'd be a hell of a right back, a hell of a start because his defensive game is already on point. Uh, the third player looking at is a player that has been linked to a load of clubs. Tottenham were interested in back ago in the, uh, the season. That is Max Ahrens from Norwich. Obviously, come back up to the Premier League now after getting relegated in the Championship last season. And yeah, at market value, £19.8 million. He's not going to be that cheap, but he's a player I believe we, we should have signed. I'm surprised no one has signed him yet. I thought he'd definitely get picked up by one of the Premier League clubs. And yeah, he's, he's just definitely just a viable, viable right back. A player that can definitely play uh, the position. He knows the position. He's he's grown up with the English game. He knows exactly what he's doing from start to finish. He's still only 21 years old, which means, yeah, he's he can, he can definitely grow in this club, especially next to young players like Gabriel and even a young player like Tierney next to him. We'll have a young, young back four, which I like the look of, and they can just all grow together. And yeah, just Max Aaron's... I just think he's he's probably is probably one of my favourites to go in that position. I'd love to see him there because I just like his game. He's he's obviously got attacking um, talents, defensive talents. He's got uh, his body build is perfect for that right back position. I think and yeah, just a great player all round. And then the fourth player, Matty Cash from Aston Villa, obviously recently went there, was signed from Nottingham Forest, and yeah, he's had a great first season there. Honestly, he's still only young, twenty three years old, but Aston Villa he's had a great season, contributed heavily to Aston Villa's great progress last season and finishing in a higher position. They almost got relegated this season before. He's come in along with other players, including Martinez. And yeah, they've now finished in a higher up position and he's, it's all worth it, to be fair to me. He's got the same market value as Max Aaron's, both £19.8 million and will be a great another player to add at right back. He's obviously got a leadership attributes after captain in uh, Nottingham Forest and being really good at, um, at Aston Villa. Obviously, you know what he's like. He's durable, experienced. He's not going to get when you man the match, but he's not definitely not going to let you down. He's going to just be that player, hard-nosed player, times his tackles, gets up and crosses the ball in, just an old-fashioned right-back and something you really need. Um, yeah, because we've got someone like Tierney that's going to work work all up and down. Let's match him with Matty Cash. A right-back and left-back that's going to work up and down, up and down, up and down. I'd love to see it happen. And the last one, this one, in my opinion, is probably the most unrealistic out of all of them, but that is Serginio Dest. Uh, from obviously Barcelona, who, let's be honest, no one would have thought he's, a Barcelona player would come to Arsenal. But it's happened um, with, oh, who's that right back that uh, uh, Wolves got, the Portuguese one, Nelson Smedo. That's the one, yeah. They bought him from Barcelona, so you know anything can happen. He's young, very, very young, only 20 years old. His market value is troubling at 27 million. But Barcelona, like Real Madrid, they need to sell, man. They're in financial debt. They're in extreme trouble. Messi literally signed a contract with a massive wage cut. So Junior Dest and others are being told to do the same thing. And some of them will be like, nah, I don't want a wage cut. I'm out. So if, if they need to sell their assets, they need to sell their assets, which means we could obviously get a cut price for him because a market value of £27 million normally means you have to pay upwards of about 40 ish So if we can get something for less than that, it will be a great option. Of course, he comes from the USA of the new crop of American players, including players like Pulisic and Weston McKinney. And yeah, he's obviously one of the best uh, talents in the world in terms of young right-back talents. Going to bomb up the pitch. New style right-back, you know, attacking orientated. Obviously in the same mould as Trent Alexander-Arnold. And yeah, obviously he would be the dream player to get. Is it unattainable? Who knows? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if Arsenal surprise me. But yeah, that's just been my just thoughts on the right-back process at Arsenal Football Club. As always, leave your comments in the section. 
leave your comments in the comment section down below uh, who you would up, like to sign at Arsenal, who you would sell personally. And yeah, if I had to rank them finally in order in terms of who I'd most like to see, I'd most like to see Serginio Dest and then Max Ahrens, then Matty Cash, then Tariq Lamptey and then finally Fabien Kentonze. But yeah, that's just my ranking. Let me know what you think um, of these players in the comment section down below. Any other players you'd like to see us sign. I've been Wine Football and I'll see you guys in the next video.